Good day from Kamakura, Japan. On this Saturday, March 19th. Eight degrees, a bit cool, but still nice. May see some sunshine later on today. But for now, it's rather cloudy. You can hear those spring songbirds. They've returned. And I think Spunky wants to come out. Come on, boy. How are you this morning, huh? How are you doing this morning? How are you? No, no. <laughs> okay, our tulips are looking pretty good. Still. Oh, I see we have some blossoms on the uh, rosemary. How oh, nice. And our low tunnel. It's filled with condensation. <laughs> I think I'll open these up. Let it air out. Yeah, I fully extended the hoop house here and uh, opened it up quite a bit, put some bricks on the front to keep it stabilized in the wind. Yeah, you can see how tall it is on the inside. Pretty nice. So in a few weeks, we'll have some plants in here. Hey. Yeah, everything's looking pretty good here. Tulips are coming in nicely. Even down here, they're coming in. Okay, very good, very good. We had a nice rain yesterday, all day. Our transplanted strawberries are looking quite healthy. Everything's looking pretty good. Yeah, I have my apron on because I'm in here doing some baking. I'm making some muffins here. Blueberry almond muffins. And here I have some fudge muffins. I'll show you what they look like when they're done. Now I think our muffins are done. Let's take a look. And I put the extra batter into this little tin here. It'll make for a nice snack. So I'll put the link for the uh, recipes down in the description box. Yeah, these are cocoa chocolate chip muffins with orange zest. And these are blueberry almond. So I'll let these cool off a bit. They look delicious. Well, the sun has come out. Give me a better look at how the garden's doing. Yeah, last night we had a good rain. I think this will become my squash bed. My zucchinis and other squashes. And you can see here. Yeah, you can see here uh, about a 35 degree tilt there on the wall. I'll have to redo that. And over here. Looking good. Let's see how things are down here. Okay, so we've got some leaves coming in on the blueberries. Looking good. And our carrots have recovered quite a bit. Earlier this morning, I turned the lamp on. So let's take a look inside, see how we're doing here. Okay. Everything 
looks good. Got some nice true leaves forming. I'll be glad to see some uh, growth here. Not yet, but it's okay. We see something's coming up here. See that? Something's coming up there. And this one here, I can see something's beginning to poke through here as well. So, in a few more days. This is our zucchini here. And this tray is eggplant. More zucchini there. I moved one of the grow lamps down below here so that the, uh, these taller plants, especially the string beans, will have more space to grow upward. And, uh, the cilantro, you can see they're starting to form some true leaves there. And we have our cucumbers at the bottom and the tomatoes at the top. And the pineapple, hopefully that will do well down here. So oh, everything's looking pretty good. And in a couple days, we'll see some growth here. Alrighty. So beautiful day on tap on this Saturday. Yeah. Oh, let me show you this here. Thinking about planting some potatoes. I put them here and cover them with soil and sprayed them so they should have some uh, roots growing by now. Look at that. Look at that. Very nice. And in a little while they'll be ready to, to plant outside. Got some more down here. Let's check these out. Uh, well, we have some eyes. I think this one has sprouted. Oh, that's looking really nice. And here we have a purple potato. Good. I think I'm going to put some more soil on there. Give this a good spray. And next week, I think it'll be ready to be potted. I'm gonna grow them in pots. So I keep the soil nice and moist to allow the roots to sprout. And soon enough, I'll be planting them into here. I'll start another round of planting uh, soon, maybe in the coming week. You know, this is what the eggplants will look like. Nice long ones. Actually, I think I'm going to place the turmeric in here as well, just to get it going. I don't want them to dry out any further. So I'll put them in and cover them with a bit of soil as well. I'll give this a good spray. I just noticed here, the asparagus is beginning to sprout. So I need to get this in the ground soon. I have some pumice stones here. And they already come in the bag. So I can just line this tray here. Okay, let's get this planted. You can see why it sprouted here. It's very moist inside here.
let's see what we have here. What I'm going to do is spread this out like so. And uh, just dig a little trench here. I'll be honest, I've never planted asparagus before. It's my first time. Well, I hope I'm doing it right. Let me know. Okay, we'll give this a good watering. I think I'll leave it here so you can have full sun. I think I'll save this bag here. I might be able to fill it with potting soil and grow something else in here. I've had this idea to use this old umbrella sort of as a tent for this. I have some more netting that I can put around it. Maybe drape it over top of here and let it come down the sides. And that way the light can get in and the birds will stay out. We'll see. So I'm wondering what I should use. Some pliers or a saw? Hmm. Let's see if the uh, pliers work first. This is, oh yeah, very thin, very thin metal. No need for the saw. I just notice I need to do some cleanup here. It's better to do the cleanup before I cover this. Got some new growth coming in here. It's very nice to see. What do you think? I like it. Okay, I have some fresh netting here. planning on simply taping this around the edge but I think it might be better if I simply poke a hole through the top here and simply pull this down over top there's a nice seam here that makes this very strong so let's see if I can tie this string around the edge here around the bottom
And this could be an entry point here. I can water it from the sides or simply put the hose in this way. Yeah, I realize that this will be rather precarious in a heavy wind. So I'll have to be careful about that. So what do you think? I kind of like it. The sunlight can get in. The birds can't. I think the parsley down at the bottom will be okay. Our thyme here, our English thyme will come back just fine. Not too worried about that. Our strawberries will do well. And our tulips have plenty of room to grow. So let's hope the asparagus do well. And the load tunnel is drying out nicely. It's going to be very, very productive.